there is a reason why the early Christians were simply called believers. They were not called Anglicans or Pentecostal or Methodists, just simply believers. Because you see, God loves us so much that he presents us with an opportunity to have a relationship with him. And this relationship with God is based on our belief or our faith in him. For Bible tells us in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. And so when he says whosoever believes right there, that's an equal opportunity for anyone to have a relationship with him. And again, you, faith is not necessarily an aspect of our minds, but an aspect of our hearts. For if it was about our minds, then those who have a higher IQ would have an advantage over the others. But it's based on our hearts, and therefore that means every human being has the ability to believe in God. And so your relationship with God starts when you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. For Bible tells us when you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, then you're born again, then you become a Christian, then you have a relationship with God. But it doesn't stop there. If, if it starts by faith, then it can only be sustained by faith. And so that means that you have to apply faith in every aspect of your life. And I mean every aspect of your life. It's normal to doubt sometimes. Sometimes you feel like your faith has been damaged because you believed God for some things, maybe for many years and they've never happened, so you feel like you want to doubt him. But we have no choice but to continue trusting him, to continue holding on to him. For Hebrews 11:6 tells us that without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if you want to move God, you move him by faith. Not your tears, not your emotions, not even your pain moves God, but only faith. But ultimately also, is that this faith does not only give us a relationship with God here on earth, but it is faith that takes us even to eternity. For Bible says in the book of Luke 18, 8, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith? But even better, if you get to eternity, the words that you long to hear God say to you are this, well done, good and faithful servant. Have a faithful week.